Well, this is the new meter plugin from Solid State Logic. What I mentioned first is that we got a scale button here, so we can change the scale from 50% to 200%. Yeah, I would say let's take a look at it together, how it works in action. Okay, I really like the meters. Here we got a vector scope, frequency band analyzer. Okay, um, I would say let's turn the question mark on to see what Solid State Logic says about it. Now it's on. These are the digital meter bar graphs, so the selected type of digital metering is displayed here. Yeah, we also got a correlation meter, it indicates a phase correlation. What else can we do? We can turn it off and on. This plays the maximum peak value since at least the least reset. Click to reset. Okay. Yeah, we can switch between VU and PPM. Select the type of analog metering, choose from VU or PPM. Okay, we did. We can reset the peaks, you can see on the half transparent bars. Okay, that's great. No band selected, so we can select a band. If you want to know the precise uh, band, so you can click on one bar and it will um, tell you what it is, so um, which frequency you see here between 500 and 1K. I will just do something and, and switch from the full instrumental to just one track, maybe the drums. So this is the bass. It's not completely mono, so I just will turn it to, maybe we can see what happens then. So I will reduce the stereo width. Let's check what it does. Now it's completely mono. We can even change the format to mid-side. That's really great. So if we got stereo, we, we got the left and right channel. And when we switch to mid-side, we will see these are the sides and these are the mids. Um, I think I have to switch to another track or even to the full instrumental. So I will turn the mid-signal down in a moment. Yeah, on, now what we hear is only the side signal and it displays only the side signal. So this is working well. I turn the mid signal up a bit again. So let's do it the other way. Turn the side signal down. Great, and it's only showing the mid signal. So you can change many things here in the uh, settings menu. Um, it, it even got an info bar there. Okay, great. Um, okay, it, it got an info bar on every thing you can change. You can change the max needle hold time. So uh, you can all just turn it off. That's great. So you can turn this this uh, red needle off. You call it. You can change it to infinite, so it will stay at position even if you stop playing. That's that's okay. It's it's useful. Well, there are many other things you can change, but I think if I um, go through them all, it would take too much time for this video. All right, I think this metering plugin is a great addition to the Solid State Logic library. I hope you liked the video, and if you like it, just uh, give me a thumbs up, that would be great. And if you want, just subscribe to my channel, that would be even greater. Thank you for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time.